Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Hatboro Horsham High School College Fair, our third session of the day. We are so excited to have you here and participating in this event. Hope your earlier sessions, if you've been participating this afternoon, have been great. So we have some fantastic schools here with us this afternoon. My name is Laura. I'll be your facilitator for this session. Before we get started, I do just have a few housekeeping items to make you aware of, um, especially if this is your first session for the afternoon. So you've probably already noticed your camera and microphone are off. So the panelists cannot see or hear you. However, we still encourage you to ask your questions and we want to have you engage in this session. You can use the Q&A button instead on your screen to type the questions to our presenters at any time. Um, so this doesn't have to be during their presentation. It could be at any time you think of a question question, please feel free to drop that in there and we will get to it as we can. Um, as I mentioned, this is one of many different sessions happening, um, so we would encourage you to check out some of the recordings later. We have lots of other ones. This is our final one of the afternoon, um, but you can check out all the ones that we've had today at strivescan.com slash Horsham. All right, and with that, I would like to turn it over to our first presenter. We have Mary Mac College. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tyler Fernari. I am a graduate fellow here at Merrimack. I'm really happy you can join us today. Um, I'm just gonna go over a quick overview of where Merrimack is, kind of what we do as a school. And uh, from there, uh, feel free to ask questions. So Merrimack's up in North Andover. We're about 25 miles outside of Boston. And we are one of the fastest growing schools in the country. Uh, we had about 2000 undergrads 10 years ago, and now we have 4,000. We've built some new schools, such as a nursing school, and um, we did our business school. So it's pretty exciting to be here at Merrimack at this time. Um, just a couple, just to show you kind of some of the things here. 100%, um, you know, some of the unique things about us, 100% of students receive iPads when they come here to make, you know, just everything easier when it comes to that guaranteed housing. Um, we just actually went completely D1 sports across the board, which is exciting. Uh, it was initially just um, our, our hockey team, which is pretty well known in D1, but now all our sports are D1. So if you're looking to play D1, this is definitely a school you might want to consider. Um, we have a 16 to one student to faculty ratio and our average size class is 22. Um, that's great in the sense that we are a fast growing university, um, but you still, you know, you, you get the chance to do the research and work with professors on very important things directly, like a, a, like a state school or a larger school, but you have that personal touch also of them knowing you by name and being able to help you. Um, again, we have five different schools, um, 100 plus academic programs. 73% um, of our students live on campus and we have all different types of uh, residence halls, whether it's suite style, um, just traditional halls and things like that. Um, like I said, we are one of the fastest growing schools in, um, in the country. Um, what we really try to do, we know this is a very, you know, big investment for all students and their parents. So we actually have increased our scholarships. Um, everyone who applies gets a free, gets, gets reviewed for a merit scholarship um, on, ac on their academics. And then 99% um, we, we, of our students receive some type of grant or scholarship. Uh, we're, we have about 85 million we're planning to give out this year. And as you see on the right there, um, that's kind of like the list price for the total of 64,000. But um, when it comes to the tuition and fees, that actually gets cut in half. So it goes from 46,916 down to 22,300, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, the board doesn't go down as much, but you can see we are trying to make this as you know, um, cost friendly as possible. Uh, some of the academic programs, our largest school is Girard School of Business. So one out of three students at our college goes here um, in this school. So you can see um, we have one of our newer things is sport management. Uh, we actually just redid our whole business school. We now have um, Bloomberg terminals where you can actually feel like you're right there on the stock market floor and be working through that. So that's very, um, it's pretty it's pretty interesting, pretty, pretty, pretty awesome to do. Um, you know, our school of psychology, um, I'm education, social policy, um, you know, everything from, you know, from being elementary school, early education down through um, moderate disabilities. And then school health science is new. Our nursing school is brand new. We just built it two years ago. 
Um, because of COVID, uh, we, we, we really hadn't been able to launch it until recently. Um, this is probably our most competitive school. Um, it's the newest, it gets the most applicants um, and uh, it, it is the most competitive. So if you are applying to the nursing school and you're considering it, do you need two recommendations and you do need to have pretty high marks, three, three, five GPA and above on a 4.0 scale. And then just some of the other things with our school of science and engineering, some of the other types of um, programs we have here. And like I said, we're pretty, we're pretty close um, to Boston. Um, you have access to, you know, a lot of different things when it comes to cultural activities. New England's great in the fall. It's actually probably the nicest time of year to be here with the foliage. Um, but you also, if, if you want the seasons, that's another thing with us. We have winter, you have access to, you know, the ski mountains up in Vermont, New Hampshire. We have clubs that go there. And also, um, I know we have mentioned that we were D1, but we also have, um, you know, 60, you know, 60 specific activities and clubs, groups. And if you don't see anything um, on our website um, or when you come here, um, you can always start a club too. So don't, don't hesitate to do that. Um, some of the liberal arts, just to give you an overview of some of the other areas here, liberal arts is about 20% of our student bodies in the liberal arts. And then um, from there, just to show you some of the minors that we can go, go in. I guess um, I have about a minute left here. So um, I just wanted to give you, you know, you know, I know you've probably some questions are coming in through the Q&A. I'll definitely answer those when I'm when I'm finished with this. But the whole goal here is really um, we're, you know, we're we're a medium sized, fast growing college that is focused on helping, you know, our students think about what's going to be after school. Uh, we have a whole new um, academic success center. Um, we can support you through that change through high school to college It is a big gap, big leap when it comes to the workload, but more importantly, we have a new academic, um, we have a new uh, academic uh, career success center where you'll get a career advisor and they can kind of customize and help you tailor your present, tailor your LinkedIn and do the networking events to get those internships and those um, practicums that you want to do. So I have 10 seconds left, so I'm probably gonna stop sharing my screen now and please shoot those questions over to me and check out the other schools. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Tyler. Appreciate your presentation there. All right. And with that, we'll turn it over to Sutton Hill. Hi, everyone. My name is my name is my name is Brittany Peterson. Um, I'm an admissions counselor here at Seton Hill. So we're located in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Um, so here you can kind of see a picture of our campus, also some of our students, um, and also a lovely picture of the drive right now. Um, it's quite beautiful, especially with the leaves turning. Um, so we're definitely located on a hill, but it's nice because our campus is definitely compact and it's definitely easy to navigate, which is very helpful um, in terms of navigating the campus. So a little bit about us. So we're in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Being that we're in Greensburg, we're right outside of Pittsburgh. Um, so we're about 45, 50 minutes from Pittsburgh, which is really nice. Tons of opportunities for internships, externships here at Seton Hill. We actually have a 95% placement rate. 95% of all of our students actually go into the field or on a graduate school. So that's something really big about us here at Seton Hill. We also have a 100% experiential learning rate, which means every single student, no matter what their major is, is gonna get an opportunity for an internship or an externship. Um, we are a Catholic school, but we do embrace all faiths here at Seton Hill. Um, so if you have something other than, um, if you practice something other than Catholic Catholicism, we um, you know have things around us um, that we can definitely, uh, definitely help you out with, uh, help you out with finding. Um, we have about 2,000 students, that's including our grads. Um, it's a 14 to one student to faculty ratio. The biggest class you'd ever have at Seton Hill is gonna be probably 35 students. Um, the smallest could be three to four. So we're a, real, we're a small school here at Seton Hill. Um, we're also an Apple Distinguished School, which means that every single student receives a MacBook. Once you're graduated, that's absolutely yours. That's something you also get as full two. We're also voted one of the colleges of distinction from 2021 to 2022. Also one of the best um, Northeastern colleges by the Princeton Review. Um, over here, you can see our mascot, that's uh, Griffin, which is part eagle, part lion. Um, over here, we have some information just about 
welcoming community, celebrating community, learning community, and serving. So those are just something that is near and dear to us here at Seton Hill. Um, over here is a little information about our cost comparison. So Seton Hill, our average cost to come here is around $23,000. Um, that's including room and board and financial aid is full too. Um, we also give academic scholarships here at Seton Hill merit-based anywhere between seventeen dollars to $24,000 per year. And that's for four years at Seton Hill. Um, so that's something that you would definitely be eligible to get. 99% of our incoming freshmen receive it. We also do have, have athletic scholarships for D2 and the PSAC. Um, so if coaches see fit, um, they can definitely give an athletic scholarship on the coach's side. Um, we also do have visual performing arts scholarships, service scholarships, and also other various awards as well too here. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of different ways in order to make Seton Hill affordable to you. Over here, this is all of our majors, minors, things that we have here. I think the really great part about us is the fact that not only do you get the small class sizes, but you also get the opportunity to create the education that you want. So you can double major, add a minor, do all that with us within three, uh, within four years here at Seton Hill. Um, our biggest program, one of our biggest programs is our physician assistant program. It's our most applied to. Um, it's a great one here at Seton Hill. It's a fast track. You get done in five years versus six. Um, there is some prerequisites and things like that that you'll need to look into. Um, but that's one of our major programs here at Seton Hill um, that students really love and enjoy. Um, we also do have study abroad, study away. So if you're ever interested in that, um, we definitely do offer that as well too at Seton Hill. Um, if you wanna do a study away trip, it's two to three weeks as opposed to a full semester. You can do something like that in a J term or an M term. So, so J term meaning in January, M term meaning in May when classes are done. So it's nice because you get to go with faculty can also do something in a full semester as well too. We also do have a partnership with the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Um, the beauty of that program is being able to bypass the MCATs. So that's another great one of our programs as well too. We also do have a cooperative program with South University. Um, so we do also have that one as well. We also have over here a little bit about career and internships. So these are some of the places that our students who have been to. So. Amazon, UPMC, BNY Mellon, uh, PPG. So lots of great companies that our students have not only um, gotten jobs and careers out of, but also internships as well too. These are some of our students. Um, so as you can see here, we have tons of different majors and our students um, really love the fact that they can come to Seton Hill and create um, their own education and their own space that way. Um, so each one of them has you know, a different story that way. And that's something that we really appreciate here at Seton Hill. Um, so yes. And then I'm actually going to just turn, there's a quick video that I have. Um, I'm just going to play it. It's about a minute long. Um, so I hope you enjoy. And then I will be here um, for questions and everything at the, uh, towards the end. When choosing a college, I wanted a school that moved me forward. Seton Hill University, I'm a part of a welcoming community that celebrates a long history of preparing students to transform the world. With small class sizes and easy access to scholarships and aid, Seton Hill gives me the confidence, skills, and opportunities to take my future into my own hands. Plus, with an award-winning career services center right here on campus, I know I'll be supported, both as a student and after I graduate in whatever path I choose. Are you ready to move forward? All right, but I will I will definitely hang on here and um, hopefully be able to get to uh, get to talk to a couple of you and answer some questions towards the end. Great, thanks, Brittany. And uh, again, just to reiterate, um, please feel free to use that Q and A button if you do have questions. So I am sure everyone would welcome uh, participating and, and answering your questions there. So with that, I will turn it over to Lebanon Valley College. Hi everyone, my name is EJ Smith. I'm the Associate Director of Admission at LVC. 
and I'm happy to be with you today to share you some of the great things uh, that Lebanon Valley has to offer. First, if you're looking for a place to hide, I'll be honest, we're probably not the right fit for you. Our average class size is 20. Our faculty to student ratio is 10 to 1. Uh, we have just over 1,600 undergraduate students. We're located on over 300 acres uh, in beautiful central Pennsylvania, which I'll show you some pictures of in a few minutes with over 40 majors and loads of ways to be involved. We are division three. So if you are looking for to play sports, uh, including esports, gaming, uh, we do offer uh, athletic scholarships to esports, but unfortunately being division three, we can't offer athletic scholarships to our other sports. But we do have neat things like ice hockey. We do have a men's and women's ice hockey team and they play at the historic Hershey Arena. So located just eight miles away from us is Hershey Park and the Hershey Arena. That's a picture of our campus. So you can see lots of green areas, lots of place to kind of hang out. Even though we do have just over 1600 students, acreage wise, it's on the larger size. So plenty of space to kind of hang out, walk around, but also easy to navigate. So from the furthest dorm on campus to the furthest academic building, a casual four to five minute walk. So easy to kind of get around, to kind of see things, but to be there with your friends and plenty of places to hang out. We do have many different majors at the college. So from things like health sciences, we do have a direct admit physical therapy program, a direct admit athletic training program, direct admit speech language pathology. And we're very excited to announce that we will have a BSN nursing program next year, starting with current seniors entering college this fall. We will have a nursing program. We're in the process of building a brand new building uh, for all of our nursing students that'll have simulation labs in it, and all kinds of great things. And we're connected with Hershey Medical Center, which is a great hospital in Central Penn, uh, and Wellspan. So looking forward to great things from our nursing students. We do also have many other majors like music. We have music education, music business, audio music production, lots of things in the math and business realm, including actuarial science. So in many ways to get involved with internships, uh, all kinds of things at the campus. We have education from educating uh, students who want to do ECE, early childhood education, the secondary ed, and all of our education majors start going out in real world classrooms, start getting that experience right from their freshman year on campus. So great ways to be involved. Leading into those great things, we've been the number one school in Pennsylvania in terms of getting jobs after you graduate for the past four years. Uh, we've also been in the top five in the country all four of those years. So we're gonna do things here to really prepare you to be ready to enter that real world. And those things are gonna start right from your first year. All of our first year students take what's called an FYE course, first year experience course. And that's really gonna help guide you. They're gonna begin working with you on things like interview skills, on things like resume building. Let's be honest, a resume is a living document. You need to start that right away there's probably things you've done in high school that should be on that resume and there's going to definitely be things that you do at Lebanon Valley to continue to be on that resume so that you're ready to enter that clinicals, student teaching, internships, and that you're ready to go get that first job. These are just other pictures of our campus. Again, we are located right near Hershey. We are eight miles away from Hershey in the town of Anvil, Pennsylvania but that's very close to Lancaster, 30 minutes, very close to Harrisburg, about 30 minutes, and also two hours from places like Philadelphia, Baltimore, about two and a half hours to New York City. So definitely centrally located. At LVC, we do have a scholarship guarantee so that if you are accepted to the college, we do guarantee that you will get a scholarship ranging from 20 up to $30,000. We do also have a visit grant in place that if you come visit us either virtually or in person that we will give you an additional thousand dollars and those scholarships are good for all four years and that visit incentive is also good for all four years so i would encourage you to come visit come check us out we are a common app school as well as we do have our own app so whichever one is easier for you to do and we are test optional so if you've done well have the opportunity to take those tests and done well definitely send them but if not we are completely test optional for all of our majors, including the health science and nursing ones. So that's a big thing. So I will put my contact information in the chat. So I encourage you again to come out and visit us, uh, come check us out. And if you have any questions, we're here and happy to answer. But thank you for your time and I'll pass it on to the next person. Thanks, EJ. 
All right, moving right along, we have Cabrini University up next. All right. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Erica. I'm an ass assistant director of admissions here at Cabrini University. Um, so I just want to welcome you. I'm going to go a little bit into our history and our mission. Um, so we were founded in 1957 by the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We are a Catholic university. Um, we are located in Radnor, Pennsylvania, around the King of Prussia Mall area, if you're familiar with that, or about 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Um, we are Catholic, as I mentioned, a lot of students wonder, you know, what kind of courses you have to take with this. We do require that you take um, at least one um, religion course. This could be in anything that you choose to do. We have Catholicism, um, we have classes with world religions, you know, we even have ones that focus on uh, sports and religion um, to kind of give you a little bit of that. Um, our mission is to educate the heart. So it's not just to educate your mind, it's to make you want to go back into your community and make a difference. So with that, we do include social justice and community service into our curriculum. We do um, have 40 majors, uh, over 40 majors, 10 minors and 19 concentrations here. Some of our most popular majors are um, business, education and communications, whether it's business management, international business, um, or education. We have over nine teacher certifications as, as well there. Um, we have um, nursing is very popular as well. It's a direct admit program um, that we have with Cabrini um, and psychology is very popular as well. If you're looking to go into any of the our pre affiliate programs, we have partnership with the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine for pre med. Um, we have a pre law program as well as a four plus one MBA program here on campus. So what that means is that you'll start taking grad level courses. Um, your senior year and then do one more year to um, finish off your master's degree. Um, so we do have an honors program here on campus. So if you have a 3.7 or above, you will be invited to apply for the honors program. If you are accepted into the honors program, this will um, increase your merit-based scholarship by an additional $2,000. And I'll talk about that in a second um, when I get later on. But just so that you know, we do have an honors program here on campus and here are all the benefits that are included in that. Um, as far as life on campus, um, we do have three residents uh, freshman residence buildings, uh, Woodcrest, Xavier, and East. So you will have either one roommate or two roommates. Um, as you see, 86% of our first year students do live on campus. And a lot of our students continue to live on campus because we provide the difference um, in you know, types of living. We have our freshman buildings, we have suite style housing, as well as um, apartment style housing on campus as well. Um, if you're interested in um, you know, just how to get involved on campus, we have over 19 division three athletic teams. We've won over hundred championships here on campus. Um, and we have intramural sports as well. If you're not looking to play competitively, uh, we offer over 50 clubs and organizations here on campus as well for you to get involved and start building that resume and those transferable skills that go along with that, <clears throat> excuse me, with the clubs and organizations <clears throat> and building the resume, sorry, excuse me, um, you will find that we offer over 1,200 internships through our campus, through our uh, career and professional development office. Um, so you will go there to kind of get those connections and make sure that you're building that resume so that when you are um, leaving out college, you have gained those transferable skills to kind of move on. We have some study abroad options here on campus that you go anywhere um, from London, Guatemala, Czech Republic, you know, um, we have short term ones, uh, if you want to go during the summer or during spring break, you know, a week or two, um, as well as semester long um, study abroad opportunities. <clears throat> and then we also have a pretty cool one. Um, it's called uh, Semester at Sea. So if anyone has seen the Sweet Life on Deck, Zach and Cody, um, the, that kind of show, it's kind of something similar to that experience. So you're basically on uh, a, like a cruise ship is the best way that I could describe it. Um, and then you will be um, at sea for an entire semester and hit 15 to 16 different ports throughout your time. So it's definitely a cool opportunity. And you're not just with Cabrini students, but with students from other universities that offer this program as well. So it's a great opportunity for you to network. I'm going to move on and talk about our application process. Um, so we, you can find us on the Common App as well as uh, application on our website. You can feel free to use the fee waiver code listed on the screen to apply for free. Um, we just require your um, application, your official transcripts, 
and a personal statement of at least 250 words, topic of your choice. Uh, we are test optional in all of our programs, including nursing. Um, if you wanna send those in, we will just reevaluate them to look at um, your merit-based scholarship that we do give to all of our incoming full-time freshman students. Um, we, uh, with the scholarships, we do offer between 15 to 21,000 for all incoming full-time students. It depends on your, um, it, it is merit-based, so it depends on your GPA um, and any other things that you uh, turn into us. We do take a holistic approach on your application review. So just this, this is just to show you that 99% of our students do receive some form of financial aid um, in our our annual tuition and fees is roughly 32,000, but we do work really hard to make sure that we're making that affordable to you. Um, so make sure that you put us on a FAFSA and you know we will go over your award letter um, and work with you to try to make it something that is good for you and your family. Um, and lastly, if you, if you wanna stay connected with us, you could follow us on social media. Uh, some of our students do run these accounts, so you'll be able to get this to the student perspective to our campus, keep in touch with any of our events, um, and feel free to throw any questions in the chat. Thank you so much. Thanks, Erica. Up next, we have Muhlenberg College. All right, sorry, using two screens here, so I never know what I'm sharing. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Chelsea Schoen. I am an Associate Director of Admissions here at Muhlenberg, um, and I use she, her pronouns. Um, Muhlenberg College, we are a small private liberal arts college located up in Allentown, Pennsylvania, so um, probably just a little over an hour uh, from the Philadelphia area. Um, we are a smaller school of just under 2,000 students, and the size is something that's really important to us because it helps create this culture that we talk about so much on campus, which is just this really strong sense of community. Um, and it's one of the hardest things to talk about, but it's something that as soon as families step on campus, they immediately say that it feels different. Um, just the way in which students are eager to interact with one another, they lean into these relationships. Um, it's a place where students are smiling all the time and we have a tradition to hold the doors for the person behind you. So um, generally speaking, it's just a really warm and welcoming place that students really appreciate the community as well as just the um, opportunities that come from that community. Um, academically, we're certainly a rigorous school, um, but we definitely embrace the liberal arts. So some of our strengths are on different ends of the spectrum. Uh, we are very well known for our pre-med preparation. So with that comes the strength in the natural sciences. At the same time, our theater program has been naturally ranked um, in, in the top 10. So um, it's really interesting to have a school where it's not just artists and not just STEM students, but really an eclectic mix. Um, what we also have is a lot of students who combine interests. So about 30% of our students will graduate with a double major, and there's an additional 30% who are doing some type of major minor combination. So having a student do physics and theater or neuroscience and dance is not really uncommon at Muhlenberg. And so it's really interesting to just be surrounded by a really eclectic um, and diverse academic community in all of your classes. Um, because we're a smaller college, your classes are going to be much smaller. So our average classroom size is 19 students and the faculty to student ratio of one to eight. Because of the size and because of just that culture that we have and we're very intentional about, it's a place where faculty are not just teachers, but they truly become mentors for students. And they will seek out students to invite you in for a variety of different opportunities with impact. So that could be things like you know, recommending a specific study abroad program. Uh, we're in a traditional year, it's closer to 60% of our students will go abroad. Uh, you can see we have opportunities for summer research, we have internships, um, but really because it's smaller, you're gonna be in an active learning environment. You're not gonna find yourself in a lot of lecture halls. It's gonna be discussion-based. You're gonna be practicing these skills and it's gonna be full of opportunities with impact both inside and outside the classroom. Because of just these experiences academically and the way that students have um, really wonderful academic and professional mentors, um, it naturally leads to some phenomenal outcomes for our students. So you can see um, the current uh, numbers and percentages of all the different aspects of the Career Center, you know, where students are going after graduation. Um, but I think the Career Center, they do a phenomenal job at really just taking our students' strengths and abilities and just getting them connected with professionals in the field. 
Um, so whether that's through things like our industry road trips, where we will go to New York City, down to Philadelphia, Washington, DC, have our students sit down with employers and really connect with them. Um, whether it's posting right over 8,000 full-time jobs or over um, 4,000, I think right now it's over 6,000 internships that we have posted to Handshake. So just providing opportunities for our students um, or just having an alum and parent network of close to 3,000 members who are there to provide one-on-one -on -one career advice um, and professional mentorship for our students. So definitely recognizing that Millenburg's a school where you get that warm and fuzzy of a tight-knit community, but you also get a phenomenal education with lots of hands-on opportunities that are just naturally woven into your curriculum along the way. And it's leading to postgraduate success for our students, whether they want to pursue full-time graduate, professional school, um, or full-time employment as well. And being a tight-knit community that absolutely is not just confined to those small classes, but it really is just all the other opportunities that we have going on on campus. We are super residential, so we guarantee housing for all four years, and over 90% of our students live in campus housing for all year. So it's not a place where juniors and seniors are, are leaving campus and going elsewhere. Um, so much variety within student clubs and organizations. You can see we have over 130, and that includes academic clubs, um, 14 different affinity groups based off of personal identity, um, a huge commitment to community engagement and service. We do have Greek life on campus. Um, we have a wide amount of performing and creative arts groups. So whether that's in one of the six main stage productions throughout the year, five dance showcases, six acapella groups, or just a smaller comedy or improv troupe as well. Um, and then we also just have um, just fun clubs. So if you like to knit, if you like to bake, if you like Dungeons and Dragons, we have all of that as well. But students are definitely the type to get involved and get really engaged at Newlandburg's campus. Also have 22 Division Three athletics. Um, football's been doing super well lately, so we're very proud of them. Um, but club and intramural sports as well for students to stay active while on campus. And just briefly about the process, we are exclusively on the Common Op. We're actually coming up on our 25th year of being test optional. So very excited to see lots of schools um, changing to go test optional. For us, it's not necessarily new, um, but it's a very holistic process. So it's very personal. I would be the one to reach your application first. And we wanna make sure that you know that we're really spending a lot of time and attention looking at all of your application and understanding you as a full person. Um, lastly, we highly recommend interviews. So if you're a senior right now or the parent of a senior, encourage your student to interview. They're entirely virtual. Um, the deadline's February 1st, but if you interview by the preferred date of November 1st, you'll actually receive a fee waiver. So never hurts to have a little extra incentive there. And then in terms of scholarships, there's no extra application for scholarships or honors programs. And for need-based aid, families have to submit the FAFSA. Um, but that's my very brief overview, um, but excited to connect with you further and answer any questions that you have about Muhlenberg. Great, thanks, Chelsea. Just another plug for that Q&A button. Don't forget it's there if you do have questions. All right, and then we have our final institution for this session, Widener University. You're up next. All right, welcome everybody. My name is Steve Faduke. I'm one of the assistant directors of admissions here at Widener University. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just get started. Um, so Widener University is located about 10 minutes south of Philadelphia. Uh, and we're also just south of the Philadelphia International Airport located in Chester, Pennsylvania. We do pride ourselves in being a smaller to mid-sized institution with an average class size of around 25 students per class. Um, even a step further, our student to faculty ratio is 13 to one and 90% of our faculty hold a doctorate or terminal degree within their field. A benefit about choosing Widener for a smaller institution um, curriculum is that we do not use teaching assistants, graduate assistants, TAs or GAs, whatever you would like to call them to teach our undergraduate coursework. So what that means for our students is that they are learning directly from their professors for the in-class instruction, extra credit, office hours and everything in between. We have around 3,000 full-time undergraduate students and additionally 2,000 graduate students, so roughly a one-to-one -one ratio uh, between our undergrad and graduate population. We have a wide variety of majors and minors, uh, so we have over 40 majors and 50 minors. Some of them are, cor are correlated. Uh, for example, you could major in finance and minor in economics, but some are not related at all. We've had students that major in nursing but minor in dance, so the option is really up to you. So 79% of our uh, freshmen do reside on campus and we do offer two big guarantees at the university. 
One is that we guarantee housing for all four years. And the other is that we allow all students, including first year students, to have a car on campus. So whether you are living on campus or commuting, you are allowed to have a vehicle. And should you decide to live on campus for the duration of your academic career, we do uh, guarantee that you will have a place to rest your head at night. So with athletics at Widener, we are uh, NCAA Division III. Uh, we have 12 women's sports as well as 13 men's sports. If you, varsity level sport is not your forte, we do have a wide variety of club and intramural sports. And the newest sport for us, uh, which started with us in fall of 2019, were our esports program. So this slide talks about our application process. Uh, so with our application process, we are free on either the common application or the Widener application. So we have two types of decision uh, at the university. One is early action and one is regular decision. Early action means that your application is in and complete by November 1st. Any decision that you receive is non-binding and we guarantee that students will hear of an admission decision by at least a Thanksgiving holiday. If you do not uh, meet the early action deadline of November 1st, no worries with that. Students fall into regular decision uh, with that and students uh, with that decision receive a admission decision uh, from us within a three to four week time frame of their application becoming complete. We are test optional for this upcoming academic year for those of you who are seniors. So aside from the application, whether that would be the Widener application or the common application, we will require your official high school transcript and the essay, or we will um, your, require your official high school transcript and your SAT or ACT test scores. Not sending in your standardized test scores will not negatively affect your application whatsoever. We leave it up to the student. Um, should they, he or she feel that it is best to submit their scores or not, it's totally up to them. Letters of recommendation are optional, so they are not required as part of the application review process. If you would like to submit them, we'll gladly take a look. Typically, students submit anywhere from two to three letters of rec for their application. And if you are taking any uh, AP, IB, or dual enrollment credits, we do accept those credits to transfer into college courses at Widener as well. So as far as support services on campus, we do start um, as early as your application process. Uh, so we assign every student uh, based on where they are located geographically for their high school, their assigned admission counselor. That person is your primary contact for any questions you have regarding your application, open house dates, a general question about visits, and really anything in between. And those support services transition to once a student is on campus as well. So this short list that you see on the left-hand side of the screen uh, is by no means a comprehensive list. And these support services are already included in tuition and available to you from day one all the way up until graduation. For example, you might start off in your college career and realize I'm not doing so well in my English class, so you might wanna visit the Writing Center. Uh, but flip side, you might start your college career and realize you're killing it in your English class, but then get to your senior year and realize, hey, I'm working on a senior thesis. Maybe I should get a second pair of eyes to look over this paper, make sure all the grammar's correct, the punctuation, so on and so forth. Um, other offices that we have on campus, our career design and development office is a great office to utilize their services and they deal with everything from uh, resume building to mock interviews uh, to the job search. And like I mentioned, all of these support services are available from the day you step foot on campus all the way up until the time that you graduate. And even some of the uh, support services are available to our graduate students um, and alumni as well. So some stats for the class of 2020, 91% of them were employed or within graduate school within six months after graduation. And for those students who were working, uh, the mean salary for them was 62,500 per year. So uh, we have two quotes here um, for the class of 2025. So these are two students uh, who are freshmen about what they had to say about Widener University. If you would like to follow us on social media, you can use the handle at Choose Widener for any of the platforms that you see below. And this brings me to my last slide as far as our visit options. We are open for on-campus in-person visits. We do have our upcoming open house, which is on Saturday, November 13th. And if that date doesn't work for you, we are open for daily tours, which run Monday through Friday, uh, two to three times a day based on your preference. Um, so for that, I would like to thank you for listening to my presentation and I will turn it back over to Laura.
Thanks, Steve. All right, so we have a few minutes here. What I would love to do is throw a question to our panelists. And if you don't mind sharing in the order that you presented, that would be wonderful. So the question I have in mind is, what is one myth that you would like to debunk on the college admissions process? All right, this is Tyler from Merrimack. I would say um, that we don't read all your essays or everything on your application. We do read those. so. If there's even something small that you think is not significant, I would put it on the resume just in case to, to differentiate yourself. I think that's important. Hi, I'm Brittany Peterson from Seton Hill. So I think another one is that you have to have perfect scores in order to get into college, and that's not the case. We look at students from all different areas of GPA, also SAT or ACTs, or just test optionals will too. So if you're looking at schools, I definitely would say like look into what they're requiring. Um, so don't think that you have to have perfect grades in order to attend college, because that is not the case. EJ Smith, Levin Valley, completely agree with the first two. And I would also tell you, you know, we are not looking for a agreed that perfect person. We do look at you as a whole person. We do look at you with what you're involved with, with where you come from, with even the little things you do, uh, working, involvement in clubs or sports or activities or music, so that we are looking at you, that we're not just drawing a line and saying, well, this GPA gets in and that GPA does not. So you know, take the time to come visit and talk to us and see if we could be the right fit for you because it is a two way street. We need to be the right fit for you just as well as you need to be the right fit for us. Hi, I'm Erica, Assistant Director at Cabrini University. I would say definitely, um, you know, just to make sure that you're not writing a school off based off of a, um, a sticker price. Sometimes students believe that a sticker price is an end all be all and it's not. Um, there's a lot of different options that you can explore financially. So make sure that you're doing the research in terms of scholarships or just services that they provide um, to know that it is possible for you to seek an education at that institution, not just because of the sticker price that you see. So Steve Faduk, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Chelsea. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. So I would say um, a myth that there's one perfect college for you. Um, there's probably more than one perfect college is for you. Um, fit is a very multifaceted term. There is academic fit, there's cultural fit, social fit, financial fit. Um, and there's probably a lot of schools that fit all those criteria. So um, I think just to, yes, you know, you can have dream schools, you can set your hopes on things, but also recognize you can do incredible things on a lot of different campuses and think about yourself as a whole person um, and recognize that you can probably shine on, on a variety of campuses and that you're going to have options. And we're all excited that we could potentially be one of your options. So I would say a uh, method to debunk is I've seen recently a lot of students and um, families coming to campus and worried and nervous about meeting um, their particular admission counselor uh, throughout the college process. Um, all of us here, Chelsea, Brittany, Erica, EJ, and Tyler, as well as myself, we are friendly and coming to campus, do not be worried. Ask us the questions that you have. This is a time for you to shine and really get your questions answered. See if this campus is a good fit for you to be your home away from home. Um, so I would say don't be nervous about meeting anyone in the admissions office, any of the faculty or current students that we have on campus. Fantastic advice, everyone. Thank you all for sharing. And with that, I know we have just a minute left, so I just have some final kind of housekeeping items for us. So just want to say thank you for joining us. I uh, really appreciate it both to our um, attendees as well as to our panelists. So appreciate all of your time today. Um, after you close out, you will be directed to a short five question survey. So would appreciate your feedback on that. Anything you can provide certainly helps us um, continue to improve these events. Um, would also encourage you, um, you, you won't be able to sign up for more sessions since this is the last one, but recording will be available of all the sessions that we've had for this college fair at strivescan.com slash Hatborough Horsham. And with that, again, just want to thank you all. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your afternoon and best of luck in all of your pursuits.